While the QV library has a large collection of ebooks available, there is still a ton of ebooks that are free to borrow or download online. Two great hidden gems on the internet are Project Gutenberg and Open Library. To access Project Gutenberg or Open Library, we're going to head over to our library page and scroll all the way down to where it says Find Books and Ebooks. From there, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to get to this last box that says free ebooks on the internet. From there, we're going to start with Project Gutenberg. You can see that Project Gutenberg has over 60,000 free ebooks and you can use this however you want. You can download them, you can share them with people, and that there's no type of restriction or copyright behind it. That's because the US copyright has expired. This is known as public domain. You'll see that a lot of these books have been published somewhere before 1920. For example, if we go to search and browse and we go to frequently downloaded, and if we scroll down, we'll start seeing some classics like Middlemarch, The Complete Works of Shakespeare, Moby Dick. So for example, if I wanted to read Frankenstein, all I have to do is click and I can read the whole book online and everything is here. Everything is in chapters. And the reason why, again, is that there's no copyright anymore on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So if we go back, you can also change the formats. Let's say that you have a Kindle or you have some sort of e-reader. You can download it to be that format. However, the easiest way is to just read it with HTML5. Let's say that we're interested in searching for a particular book. So for example, we can write the art of war. As a general reference, most of these materials will be before 1920. So if you're looking for a book after 1920, it's probably not going to be available here. And we click go and we look around and we see the art of war and see it. This is also available. And here's the whole book. If you are looking for more modern books, then the other suggestion is to visit open library. So if we head back to our find ebooks page, and we go all the way to the bottom and we click on open library. Here you'll see a lot more modern books. Now in order for this to work, we have to log in and create an account. So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. Now that I am logged in, I am able to read thousands of library eBooks online. For example, if I scroll down and I wanna read Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, I can just click borrow. This is the whole book. And all I have to do is click through here. For those who are wondering how this is possible, this is done through a concept called controlled digital lending, which means that a library can digitize their print copy of a book and put it online. There are more details and exceptions, and I'll leave more information in the description below if you are interested in learning more about CDL. Let's say that we want to return the book and we're done reading. All we click on is return now, and the book has gone back to the library. And if we go back here, we can browse around and see whatever book that we're interested in. So this essentially works like a regular library, but it's all done openly online. So feel free to explore Open Library or Project Gutenberg to see if the book that you're interested in is available online and for free.